Hello and welcome to Voice Bites from Damn Good Voices. Today we're joined by actress and voiceover artist Helen Barford. Hey Helen. Hi, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to ask you a quick question about scripts because us voiceover artists can't just pick and choose the scripts we want to work with. We're given a script and it's our job to bring it to life and engage with it. But sometimes scripts can be a little bit dry. So I just want to know what's your advice on making the scripts as engaging as they can possibly be? Yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes you get a script and you read it and you just think, oh, you know, this is really dry. How on earth am I going to bring this to life? But I think, you know, that's our job. That's what we have to do. We have to tell that story. We have to bring it to life. And I do think the more the more you kind of can find out about the product or, or the company that you're reading for, the more honest and relatable you can be in your read. So just kind of do your research if you can and if you've got time um, and just really think about how you can tell that story. Like, who are they talking to? What message are they saying? And, and tailor your delivery to, to be as relevant and as relatable and as natural as possible. I think sometimes people, when they speak, they, they, they can almost sound like they're just saying random words. I think a good example might be uh, the Queen, uh, God bless her, but she doesn't always connect with the message that she is trying to say or really connect with the people that she is talking to. <laughs> that is bang on. That's a great Queen Liz. We let her off because it's good old Liz. Of course we let her off, but as voiceovers, we don't, we don't get away with it that easily. Um, so, and also it can be very easy to fall into that standard voiceover patter, you know, that standard voiceover delivery that was really kind of quite popular about 10 years ago, where the voice would go down at the end of the sentence and everything in the same way. But more and more now, people are looking for something that's much more authentic and natural and you know, not in a stagey voice, just in your voice. So I think that's that's a, a good piece of advice, just try and keep it real, keep it as you and keep it relevant and relatable to the product that you're that you're speaking about. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. I hate that put on radio DJ type voice or doing a voice like this. It's so annoying. It's a bit old school these days, isn't it? I think we used to hear it so much and now, you know, you listen to the radio and you and you listen to TV adverts and you can hear there's always, there always seems to be a different voice these days, which is really, and it's more engaging for the audience. Thank you for joining me on Voice Bites, Helen. It's always great talking to you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching Voice Bites. I'm Joel Wood, and you've been watching the wonderful Helen Barford giving her advice and her brilliant Queen impression. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget to click subscribe and come back next time. We've got plenty more Voice Bites. We'll speak to you soon. Bye.